Hey everybody, this is John Spaulding with SGE Media Group and Juman NBC Cuyahoga County. Got a very special guest here today, uh, Mike Berry from Skip Thomas Productions. How are you doing today, Mike? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm awesome, man. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, oh, no problem. So Mike is a very talented and up-and-coming uh, director, producer, creative talent in Cleveland. Uh, he's got a lot of great ideas for the city, um, and he has a he has a new movie coming out. He has a new um, idea for a nonprofit. He's really doing some great networking work and some great work in the field. So I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to be here. And uh, yeah, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about uh, Skip Thomas Productions and a little bit about uh, Mike Berry. Well, Skip Thomas Productions is a film company, of course. We make uh, independent films. Started back in 2012, me and my partner, Tina Hobbs, and uh, currently we're working on our third feature film, Banger, which comes out May 14th, featuring Omar Gooden and Clifton Powers. And we're just trying to, you know, push the culture here in Cleveland, independent film, and, you know, uh, uh, claw our way to the top, as you will. Cool. I like that. And uh, so um, how did you get to where you are now? Like, kind of what's your story around uh, finding your calling and, and coming to where we are today? Well, I've, I've always been uh, in entertainment. Uh, I come from music. Uh, back in the day, I was a rapper. My name was Big Gank, <laughs> G-A-N-K. Uh, and I was in the music business for a while. I had a couple top 100 albums. had a top 20 single. I toured with uh, MTV. For what was your single? Uh, Me Without a Rhyme featuring DJ Swamp. Okay, cool. And I, Yeah, I did. I toured for a while with MTV in, on the Rock the Vote tour. Um, and then, you know, you know, that came and went and I published a book and uh, went on to do some other entertainment things. And I, I just needed something that can allow me to withstand the time test. You know, I can't be a rapper at 50. So I needed something that allowed me to be, you know, exercise my intellectual property regardless of my age. And, and film did that. So I fell into film and realized that this is actually what I was supposed to do. Cool, cool. So and then with film, how did you figure out that that was what you were supposed to do? Um, what kind of led you to... to to going into film and kind of figuring out this is the avenue that uh, that I want to pursue next. Well, me and my partner, Tina Hobbs, we got together one day and decided to shoot a short film called Secrets. So we did that, and then uh, I said, well, let's shoot another film. So we shot another short film called uh, called uh, Things Revealed. So I came up with an idea. I said, hey, let's shoot one more, put it together, and call it a feature film, kind of like uh, Stephen King's, uh, what's the one where he had all the short films together? Mm. Uh, can't think of the name of it. And so we, we made a feature length film out of uh, short films and got a good response, won a lot of film festivals, and we packed out a theater, put 700 people in, in there, and I, you know, I say we own something, and we just took it from there. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Um, tell us a little bit about the concept that you have for uh, Independent Cleveland. So well, what is that? Yeah, and what do you got going on there? Well, independent Cleveland's idea I have, you know, we all struggle with uh, three main focuses as independent artists, the mentality, the motivation, and the money, you know, how, you know, how we see things, what are we willing to do to get to the next level, and how can we finance those things, and or turn those things in, 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 into a, a, a way to make revenue to survive. So what I want to do is I want to bring together all the talented people in Cleveland and form a coalition, if you will, called Independent Cleveland, where you can join and we'll take the funds that you use to join and every so often give those funds to one of the independent artists to help them fund a project. So it's a nonprofit. Uh, we'll uh, uh, um, discuss ways to, to turn Cleveland to the next New York, the next Atlanta, the next LA, because we're one of the biggest markets out there, but we don't support each other the way we should. So, we, you know, we've never produced a, a millionaire independent that I know of. And I'm not talking about somebody who went and signed with Sony. I mean, who stayed independent. We, we haven't done that, but I think we have the, the means to do that. Yeah, I love that. I, I love that concept of, of uh, creating a millionaire independent producer here. Uh, we do have a large media market that goes relatively untapped. Uh, mm -hmm. We love, we love to get our media from the coast rather than, right. uh, the, you know. And, and and if you look at Hollywood and if you look at New York, there are so many like there's so much content. There's so many shows and films and things like that that have like Cleveland references or people from Cleveland or mm -hmm. you know it's filmed in Cleveland. And so 
So I think Cleveland really is on the cutting edge of, of being able to do that. So it's a member-driven organization uh, right. for, for anyone who is in independent media, film, um, actor, uh, cameraman, props, grips, anything like that. It's kind of an open space. You become right. a member, and then and then you guys are going to fund projects every so often right. um, using that member association money. And and not just that, you're talking about uh, poets, uh, art, artists, authors. I don't care what you do. If you're yep. independent, you know, not just film, if you are independent uh, of any kind, I don't care if you're independent carpenter, all I care, independent Cleveland, we need to, you know, take people from Cleveland and, 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 and support them in what they're doing. I love that, man. So tell me, why uh, why the independent streak? Why uh, do it as an independent? Because uh, why is that important? Uh, you know, I'm I'm you know I, I can't move to L.A. I got four children here. I got whatever I'm gonna do. I need to make it happen here. It might grow legs and walk to L.A. or walk to Atlanta, but I need to grow it here. Yeah, you get a lot of aspiring actors who say, "I'm gonna move to L.A. and and do my thing." I can't do that, and it's a lot of other people who can't do that. We got a million people in Cleveland and, and, and the surrounding areas. Why can't we support our own like New York does, like L.A. does, like uh, uh, some of these other you know uh, cities do and make it so where you can take care of your family independently? You put out quality music or quality movies or whatever you're doing. If you're going to keep calling me local and won't support it, I can't go to the next level. Somebody from L.A. can fly in and you'll look at them and be like, oh, you from L.A.? And you'll support theirs because you find some type of value in that, but you won't find value in us because we local. We got to use that mentality and, and, and sustain here. That way Hollywood will come to us because we can't always go to Hollywood or go to New York or, or, or those types of places. Great point, great point. We need to sustain here, build here, create here. Um, that's and that's what Independent Cleveland's about. That's awesome, Mike. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, so I know you mentioned your movie in the beginning, and uh, I look forward to really helping promote this film and uh, and the event that you have co or the event that you have coming out in May. So tell us a little bit about the name of the movie, um, where it's dropping, and I know you mentioned who's in it. Just give us a little bit more of a synopsis and uh, okay. and go from there. Well, the movie is basically about two street crews fighting over the meth trade in Cleveland, and they end up killing a Haitian kid, and his mother brings him back voodoo. I'm afraid. All right, to effect to a exact revenge. Yeah. So you kind of spending the whole movie. So one gang thinks it's this gang, and you know what I mean. It's kind of like that thing. It, I mean, but it, it's a, actually a great movie. It's a it's a it's a good movie. A, a cliffhanger, suspense thriller, and the ending is unmatched. The last two minutes of the movie, you'll be like, I gotta see that again, just to yeah. re re see what you saw. So. Got Omar Gooden, Clifton Powell, Joe Estevez from the Sheen family. It's going to be a good event. Comes out May 14th. It'll be premiered at Solar Cinema 16 in Solar, Ohio. Uh, you can go to banger, bangerthemovie.com for more info. We we'll start selling tickets on February 5th, so be on the lookout for that. February 5th? Cool. Correct. Yeah, you got, you got some good actors there. I tell you, I watched that trailer, and I was excited, and then I was scared. <laughs> because when because you touched on, the, you touched on uh, that piece a little bit. And uh, and so I look forward to the twist and look forward to see where it goes. And so so we're very glad to help you promote uh, Banger the movie. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. And so then um and then so then let's get to the nitty gritty. You have an event at the end of the month for Independent Cleveland. So if you like what you heard today, if you like what you heard from Mike, you like what you heard from me, and you want to go ahead and get a part and be a part of Independent Cleveland, tell us a little bit about where you're going to be at, uh, what they can look forward to uh, at the end of the month. Uh, we'll be at Tri-C's Metro Campus in the Tommy LaPuma Building, Room 107. So come on down from 4 to 7. Bring on your January business. 30th. January 30th, I'm sorry. From 4 to okay. 7, bring, bring your business cards. Just come ready to network, to build, to elevate, to motivate. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just all about I'm – I'm city before self. So I'm all about getting the whole city to come out there. Let's shake hands. Let's build. Let's build bridges to each other's brands. Let's see what we can do to make Cleveland a sustainable marketplace on an independent level until we can go to L.A. or until L.A. comes to us or New York, you know. But until then, we can do it right here. I love it, love it, love it. I, you can't help yourself but to throw out taglines. I mean, you say city before self. That's already like a tagline that I think people can, uh, can uh, attach to and be a part of. So without giving away everything, you have three M's. 
the mentality, the motivation, and the money. Just briefly touch on that as we close out today um, so people know kind of what they're in for on the 30th when they come to find out more about Independent Clean. Basically, the, 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 the motivation. Why are you doing this? If your motivation isn't correct, you will fail. The mentality. What are you willing to do? What is going to uh, uh, stand you out versus somebody else? And finally, the money. How can you fund this project? And how can you make money off of the off of your project? That's simple. The motivation, the mentality, and the money. Perfect. Uh, Mike, thanks so much for being here tonight. I will um, make sure that we get uh, as many people out as we can to uh, the January 30th event at Tri-C, uh, room 107 at the Tony LaPuma building from 4 to 7 p.m. So Mike Berry from Skip Thomas Productions, thanks so much for being here tonight, Mike. Appreciate it, bro. All right, man. I will talk to you again soon. Uh, for everybody else that's out there, thank you. And remember, if you look down in the bottom in the description, it has more information about where to get a hold of Mike Berry at skipthomasproductions.com. It also has a link to the trailer for Banger the Movie. So make sure that you look forward to that. And tickets go on sale for that. When again? February 5th, 6 a.m., February 5th. All right, everybody, this is John Spaulding with SG Media Group. Uh, Mike, go ahead and stay on the line for a second in uh, G1NBC, Cuyahoga County, and we will see you again soon. Peace.